All right, all right. Show after five, two part, two to eighteen of uh, subpart B, C, and D. Blue signal protection workers, protection of train locomotives, prohibiting against tampering with safety devices. Chapter 5, uh, 218 subpart C, B, and C, and D. The part 218 subpart B, the blue signal protection workers, the operational practice should reference the motive power and equipment or compliance manual for the general required guidance regarding the Title 49 Code for Regulations. Part 218 subpart B, blue signal protection workers or blue signal regulations related to the provisions subpart A, the general introduction operational spectra practice and spectra um, shall represent the determining when the railroads are in compliance with the blue signal regulations of the mode of power and equipment and discipline operational practice spe inspector should um, work completely with the mode of power and equipment inspector by keeping that informed advice of the blue signal issue the operating practice inspector territory vice versa disagreements between the inspector regarding the regulation of the FRA policy should be elevated to a higher level and not discussed in public briefly summarized in subpart B of the four title 49 CFR part 218 requires the railroad to take a certain measure to protect the employees engaged in inspection, testing, repairing, and servicing of the rolling equipment activity requires them to work on, under, between them on such equipment and subject to the danger of the personal injury posed if they need to move in such equipment. The requirements set forth in regulation or minimum requirements of the railroad may prescribe the additional more stringent requirements. It is railroad obligation to provide a blue signal protection. Inspectors should not order the railroad personnel to stop with the working of the blue signal protection. It is required not provided, nor should the inspector establish a blue signal protection. However, because the non Compliance with the blue signal regulation is serious and can lead to the injury of the death. And inspectors should both immediately notify the subject employees that they are committing an apparent violation of the blue signal regulations. Also, immediately notify the railroad supervisor of the apparent lack of the required blue signal tri protection. The railroad must provide a blue signal protection for two its workers or who are on, under, or between the rolling equipment. A worker is defined as the railroad employee is assigned to inspect the test to repair service of the railroad rolling equipment and other components, including the braking system, members of the train yard are excluded except when assigned to work on the railroad rolling equipment is not part of the train yard movement that have been called to operate the utility assigned to the function of the temporary work members of the specific train yard um, crew yard crew and if the meeting uh, yard crew uh and if the meeting of the conditions set forth in 2.18.22 of the night works when they are so assigned to the function of the FRA inspector to none of the railroad employees, their blue signal regulation does not apply with none of the list. The um, FRA inspector must not enter between locomotives and cars without the file, first ensuring that such equipment is not subject to the move. The good judgment must be exercised in the making of the determination not only to standpoint safety, but also to prevent interference with the railroad operation. Use of under ordinary circumstances, the FRA inspector must not request the railroad to furnish protection solely to the inspector's benefit. Inspectors that are required inspectors of the record defect recommended of the civil penalty for the violation must indicate the railroad employee was involved with the specific activity that acquired blue signal protection at the time of the exception um, exemption if there's a railroad employee on or under the between the equipment of the operating practice should not um, record a defect violation of the inspector report concerns the required blue signal protection without evidence of an employee in non-compliance should be documented with the comment of the railroad for the inspector report of weak blue Light, it, um, weak blue lighted and a lighted unlighted device in the attic, which size can, um, kind cannot be considered to be clearly distinguishable and would not comply with the regulation of damaged mutilated blue signal on one other badly deteriorated covered with oil is non compliant. Blue signal displayed on the controlling locomotive. When a little blue signal is displayed on the controlling locomotive, it is attached to the locomotive in such a manner that there is no doubt and it is ready, re, re, readily visible for the employee stated with the controls of the locomotive, the operating practice, and the inspector are advised to sit in the controls of the locomotive to determine whether the blue signal protection is readily visible for the person sitting at the controls. The blue signal attached to the engine window, the ledge uh, in front of the view cab window attached to the control stand, throttle reverse handle with the comply with the signal is unlighted and this device displayed in the light lighted cab at night, however, there must be attached to the controls and you comply. Remote control locomotives, blue signal protection for the ro um, remote control locomotives is handled with the same manner as traditional locomotives. In most cases, it required the locomotive to be removed from remote control status to conventional but operational status operating practices should ensure that all remote control locomotives are not subject to being moved by remote control locomotives operators where the blue signal is required on each um, 
Security employees, railroad security forces, clerical personal boarding railroads, such as tri-level automobile cars, for purposes of checking the uh, landing of the pilferage, vandalism are not considered by workers defined, but because they are not inspected and signed the inspect to the task of the repair service of the railroad rolling equipment, therefore the blue section blue signal protection is not required under the regulation. Non-railroad employees, including contracts with the regulation, applies only to the workers, and the term worker means the means an employee who is employed and paid directly by the railroad. Non-railroad employees can contract or supply are not workers, therefore, they are not required to, given a, give, to be given or use of the blue signal protection under the regulation. Although many of the railroads require these individuals to comply with the blue signal regulations as part of the condition of the contract, the FRA cannot enforce the contract as the use of the blue signal protection. Although Part 218, so Part B does not apply with the non-railroad workers, including contracts with the railroad, must, may have safety rules in effect with the prohibit the non-railroad employees for the performing certain duties without the blue signal protection. After non-compliance with these companies, the safety rules are not, not a violation of the federal regulation. The FRA has that observed that non-compliance with the railroad own safety rules regarding the non-railroad employees should record the findings of the inspection reporting citing the non-FRA defective tasks that do not require the blue signal protection. Many types of the routine work will be combined with the work that requires blue signal protection. However, there may be times when the routine work is isolated in so much manner that the blue signal protection would not be required. And for example, if the employee inspects the equipment for the position of the ground is long side on the equipment that does not represent an activity that would require blue signal protection, testing an air brake when properly visual in nature on only requiring an employee to read the air pressure gauge to observe the position of the air brake position piston um, while the standing of the ground beside the rear of the car of the train is another, another example of the event that would not require blue signal protection. Certain sur certain servicing activities cannot be carried out without a lo low likelihood of injury. Examples such as activities including the following, bleeding the air brake system on, on cars, fueling it by attaching the hose to the exterior outlet, adding water to the locomotives without using ladders, applying removing standing electrical lines, performing mechanized track maintenance operation, cleaning passenger coach interiors not requiring the use of ladders, washing exterior passenger equipment with a mechanical or manual are not required to use the ladders evacuating recharging passenger car hold tanks without going without going under the equipment supplying the passenger car with water Similarly, certain activities such as um, supplying locomotives and caboose with ice and water and the fuses, paper towels can be carried out with likelihood of the injury, with a likelihood, low likelihood of injury. There are some activities when activity combined and with a specific work function when cannot combine with the work um, that pose a need for the blue signal protection, which would not require the blue signal protection. The blue signal regulation does not apply to derailment situations. Assigning the protection workers involved with such operation the responsibility of the individual railroad in accordance with its own operating rules, such operation. Uh, um, you are usually well con coordinated, controlled operations under the direction of the rec master, transportation supervisor at the scene, and requiring blue signals under the circumstances of what would unreasonably hamper the re-railing operations. All the personnel involved with the derailing situation should be aware of the special conditions that exist and familiar with the necessary precautions to take equipment and move as taken took place. On the tasks that do not require blue signal protection, these are certain activities that will always require blue signal protection will the, when the railroad employees are, are under the rolling equipment. An example of the, such as the activities that follows breaking and making the air hose connection, connecting, disconnecting electrical co uh, control between um, cables between the equipment even when the exposure is diminished, as even in the case of the ca coupling irons are used to be the couple of the air hose of the work position still exposes his or her to potential injury, um, replacing broken co coach windows, changing out broken knuckle or ruptured air hose at the end of the car changing the brake shoe inspecting the air electric panographs unless made by the um, outside danger zone without being on the under the with between the rolling equipment performing repairs blower motors steam regulators beneath the car performing an initial terms of air brake test when the workers are required to go on under between the rolling equipment engaging the activities required to use the ladder performing electrical requirements that involve the employee position positioning him himself but partially wholly um wholly with the confines of the electrical cabinet inspection of the undercage while in the pit inspection testing and repairing the placing of the servicing at the end of the train device inspector testing and replacing and servicing the rear marker note that not None of the train crew members may use alternative protection statute 221 and 116B to activate the switch cover to the photoelectric to ensure the proper operating condition, closing and repairing the hopper car, car door, and sanding used in the sanding device where the employee stands on the locomotive running board and fills the sandbox without getting on the top of the locomotive using a gooseneck type with a filler pipe in the open in the sandbox. Note when the holster or laborer or the equivalent employer engaged together in the sanding of the refueling of the locomotive consisting of the locomotive servicing area 
on the track of the properly predictable blue signal protection when the visual contact is made between the two employees at display. The blue signals are controlling locomotive will not be required. Train service employees, train yard men, equi engine men are TYN, uh, TYNE. Train yardmen and engine men are ex excluded from the requirements of blue signal regulation performing work on the rolling equipment that they are called to operate. The exclusion is based on the public law with the mandated issuance of the blue signal regulation not codified now codified in Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 210133, um, um, Note 3 on the rationality as in the sign that they would have to control the movement of the rolling equipment on which they are working. Train crews are protected of the rules that they require understanding of the movement of the safety briefings. This includes the holster and the utility employees. A holster and helper, labor, mechanical employee, or other employee working together in the common unit you know, or under the between equipment does not require blue signal protection as long as the holster is positioned in the control of the locomotive. When a holster helper added to the locomotive to the point of the train, the blue signal is not displayed at the end of the train. The blue signal protection is not required. Provided with the holster remains in the control of the controlling locomotive, if there's a crew on the train correct, um, consisting of the locomotive, the, the consists engineer that consists of most of them must, uh, them must also be the controls of the controlling locomotive member of the train crew should make connections between the two locomotives in addition both of the holsters engineer uh, must communicate understand that they are common track on the common track working with the common equipment is required with the railroad rules and special instructions Regulation 218.22, Utility Employee. Inspectors should be aware that many of the railroads inspect the personal utility employee. This app is acceptable by the Federal Railroad Administration if the utility employee meets all the ra where required regulations. The laws included with the hours, service laws, operating testing, random drug testing, etc. When applicable, the inspector should work with the power, motive power and equipment inspector and their operational practice regional specialist, which engage with the mechanical person acting as a utility employee. Inspectors should ensure that the rules of the railroad property require the utility employee to comply with the provision of the regulation. Inspectors should also monitor the duties of the utility employee when attached to the train crew, including the proper procedures for the attaching and detaching all the parties. This scope of the utility employee works limited to the following six items listed in the regulation. Setting up the releasing the handbrakes, coupling and uncoupling air brakes, air hose and other electronic and mechanical connections, preparing railway cars for coupling, setting wheel block or, the wheel, or, or wheel chains, conducting the air brake test, and including the cutting the air brake components, in and out of the position of retaining the valves, inspection, testing, and insta uh, installing, removing, and replacing the rear end marker, the end of the train device for additional utility employee conditions um, regarding communication. See uh, Title 49 CF CFR 21822, position of the engineer, etc. Guidance for the guidance for the utility employee enforcement. The regulation limited the assignment of the utility employee to only the crew at the time and when the conducting the inspection the inspector should monitor the following the communication between the utility employee and ranking crew member, the utility member employee, but the crew members must follow the required operating procedures which attaching and to and detaching from the crew the present of the locomotive and of the crew of the control department of all the compartments of the controlling locomotive with the utility employee performs the duty on the rolling equipment assigned to the training yard and crew. Third, the nature of the work of the performed by the Formed by the utility employee, the FRA inspector should be cognizant that there are no restrictions on their utility employee who performs the do um, who performs the duties that do not require blue signal protection. For the no more than three utility employees may be assigned to a train or uh, to a train or yard crew at the same time. Utility employees are not assigned to work with or more than one train or yard crew at a time. Inspection of utility employees' hours of service record. The utility employee has to be, going to be in a general vicinity of the crew. The utility employee may not be working at the remote site without the locomotive and the rest of the crew maneuver by example. Uh, examples of the when blue signal protection may be required. Question 1. At locations other than crew change at the point of the regulation permit the crew member of the train A to assist the crew member in the train B for any purpose that they would require the crew of the train A to go on under between the rolling equipment of the train B. Note that this includes working with the end of the train device and replacing the arm and the battery change. At the any location, the crew member from the train A may attach himself to assist the crew member of the B. The utility employee provide they, that his or her or with the train A is completed with the concerning change in the end of the train device of the device battery. Um, regulating, regulation, regulator, regulatory, regulatory assignment with the crew members may replace the end of the train device battery, but only on the equipment that are called to operate. The utility employee may not replace a battery. Uh, since there is not one, um, not one of the six items performed in Section 218.22 discussed above, exemption such railroads have waivered to permit the properly utility employees to replace a battery on the end of the train device, but not only the employees are the train yardmen and engineer rank, um, ranks. 
question to you at a change of the points. Does the regula regulation permit the inboard crew boards that they are instructed to assist the outbound crews for the, any of the purpose that would require the inbound crew member to go on and under between the rolling equipment that controlled by the outbound crew? No, this includes working the end of the train device, replacing and arming the battery change. Answer to uh, answer two C answer one question. At any location that the regulation points the crew of the train A and instructed the assistant crew members of the train B by shoving the train B uphill to go under and between the rolling equipment of the train B answer. This situation is one entire train crew include those of the locomotive assisting the another entire train crew and in the essence of the train which should be shoved in equipment that both the crews are called to operate. Equipment of the crew is called to operate the means that the rolling equipment is defined in section 218.5 of the locomotive of the railroad car that the crew is on is handling will handle is in couple and remove the operating crew the two crews must be in communication with each other both crews must be understanding must the moves be made if there's no blue signal and the non use of a non utility employee issue question for any location at any location of the regulation permit crew members of the train a and their instructed assisted crew members of the train b by pulling train b up the hill and going under between the rolling equipment of the train b is he answer three question Five, does the regulation permit per um, member of the yard to replace the railroad cars of the train M and B to remove the cars from the train B and the, tr the train has the crew on the locomotive and over the crew members, crew members of the yard A required to go on and between the rolling equipment of the train B. C answer three, the question. Um, six, at the yard, ro yard location, does the regulation permit the members of the yard to add or remove the railroad cars from the train B, which does not have a crew on it? The work requires the crew members of the yard crew A to go under the between the rolling equipment of the train B. Similar to answer three, except that the rangers must be made to ensure the equipment will not move if then another move crew will handle the same equipment. Each of the crew must communicate with each other, and each of the crew member must notify that he or she will be handling the same equipment. Um, question seven: At any location, does the regulation allow the uh, members of the yard crew A to the crew B and to cross through standing train C, that which has a crew on it, for the any purpose would require that the members of the yard crew A and the road crew B to go on between the rolling equipment of the train C? Seven. Uh, answer seven: Blue signal protection is not required when there, uh, whether the train C has a crew on it or not. The railroad owned safety rules. Are addressed in the issue. Uh, question A: at Any location does the regulation permit the members of the yard crew A or A, a um, crew R crew A and the road crew B cross the standing of the train C, which does not have the crew, if and for any purpose required with the member of the yard crew A and road crew B to go under and between the rolling equipment of the train C? Answer seven. Question nine: If the railroad all allows to classify certain events with the emergency events, therefore the not required blue signal protection for the one of the crew and assisting another crew for their furthermore. How does the FRA define emergency? What type of events would preclude the requirement of the blue signal protection? Answer 7. An example of the um, situation the FRA would consider that the bona fide emergency situation which the train would be outside the yard has become disabled as, such as having an about broken knuckle, dragging, breaking pin, ringing, or requires assistance of in, uh, either, either uh, mechanical dropping employees of the train yard and engine. Um, and does not employ have the capability to provide blue signal protection and assisting the employees required to follow the provision in section 21825 for the engaging the repairs. Another example, if the crew of the train A is dealing with the shift of load the car has to be set on, a crew member of the train A requires assistance with the crew member train B. In this scenario, the FRA would like not to, would likely not to take exception, but will remove each of the situation on a case-by-case basis. Concerning block crossing if the train stop with an emergency application, the air brakes and other reasons such as the stop, the grade crossing block, but it does not itself constitute emergency. However, each such, an, such situation will be reviewed on the case-to-case -case basis. For example, if the, if the emergency vehicle is attempting to cross a grade, ro grade crossing, the FRA would likely not take the exemption of the crew member from another train assisting the standing hold and cutting the cross at the emergency procedure of the 21825C would, of course, still be now f um, followed. Question 10. If in an emergency, um, in an emergency situation, is e any of the crew member of the train A allowed to go on, on under between the rolling equipment of the train B? FRA would consider the crew invoking the emergency provision in the section 2825C if the circumstances we were warranted, w w circumstances were warranted would exercise the prosecution prosecutorial discretion according that this would be handled by a case to case basis which depended on the circumstance of each particular situation. Question 11. A railroad operating rules um, such as three-step protection in red zone covered by the section 218.22. Um, answer on, um, 11. No, there is so-called three-step protection. May not be used as a substitute blue signal protection. Railroad operating rules required in three-step protection red zone double check programs separate apart from the requirements that employees comply with the section 218.22. 
All right, guidance for 21824 one person crew event. Previously announced, the FRA um, granted AAR petitions to stately identify the effective single member of the crew provision of the duly employee rule, except new section 21824. The effective date of the rule was originally made in 1590 CF60FRA and the Federal Register 1101. 047 March 1st, 1995. During the state, we will consult the industrial to develop the consen- consensus solution. The interim until the revised um, rule is issued or, or policy in regard to single the person the crew. The locomotive engineer working alone, such as a holster or helper, is also as follows. While on or under the, while on, under or between equipment, no blue signal protection will be required for the single person crew provided that one of the employee performs only the duties listed in section 218.22 C5 on the equipment that are called to be operated to the the railroad has an effective operating rules and procedures to provide with locomotive securement against the um, movement. Original issue, date of the June 6, 1995, signed by Edward J. R. Edward R. English, Director, Officer of Safety Enforcement. All right, Part D, Subpart C, Protection Train Locomotive Guidance um, for 21835 Yard Limits. Yard limits must be designated with the yard limit sign timetable train order. Special instruction inspectors should ensure the timetable the rules notice. Other publications used by the train crews with the proper location of the three yard limit signs. Yard limit signs are posted accordingly. Yard limit designation formally op- op- operation practice 0406. If the presence of the yard limited boundary is denoted with the specified mile post designated in Title 49 CFR 21835 to say the yard limits must be designated by a yard limited sign to the timetable train and order special instructions the rationality behind the yard limit rule is provided with the protection that the employees engage in the operation train locomotives to the other rolling equipment within the specified limits restriction regarding the train movement within those limits was clearly delineated. We are aware that some of the railroads have designated various yard limited locations broader terms the EG station to date with what um, not taken the formal examine expectation that much of the practice as long as the provision regulations are observed there have been few problems removed for the uh, Reported that this approach is involved with the requires of the crew to qualify in the territory. In addition, will the infrequent changes to limits clearly designated with the signs of the documentation, timetable, train order, special instruction? The practice of irregularity, floating yard limits modified locally, present with the pre- more preplexing situation. Such practice may easily result in employee confusion, low power. Poor rule observance each of the circumstances therefore be scrutinized on case to case basis on obje- our objective is to ensure the practice is keeping the with the intent of the rule, understanding observed employees, movement of the yard limits assigned territorial formerly operation of practice O four oh seven the following letter of the Illinois Central Railroad address the issue of how the trains engines are expected to move within the yard limits of single territory. This information applied with the guidance previously issued in the FRA in a letter of general code of the operating rules committee dated in June twenty third, nineteen ninety, which also included the July first tw- July 21st, 1993, Mr. Time, UFU, Utrecht, General Manager, Transportation, of Illinois, Center Railroad Company, 74642, Ashland Avenue, Homewood, Illinois, 60403. Dear you, Mr. Utrokoski, um, thank you for the February 8th letter of the Jim Scholz requesting the interpretation of Title 49 Code for Regulations. Specifically, you asked the interpreter of the guidance for the how the um, train is expected to move the yard limits and upon encountering a black zone conveying the indication of the less favorable one more of the can- containing green as an aspect of the part of the uh, uh, of its aspect. I apologize for the delay responding to the inquiry. Title 49 CFR 218.35 B2 states that in part of the train engine is within the yard limits must prepare to the stop within one half of the range of the vision not exceeding 20 miles per hour unless the main track is known to be clear by the block signal and the communication. The Fair Railroad Administration letter to the General Code of the Operational Committee with the date of the General July 23, 1990. We stated the fa- from the beginning of the FRA intended to clean to mean clean, um, clear, intended clear to mean the black signal and identification was permitted to proceed in the next signal without imposing a specific operational restraint on the training movement. The FRA judgment has been an indication most favorable that the approach is acceptable regarding since the such indication does not or does note that at least two blocks are clear in advanced movement with respect of the action required of the train engineering entering the moving within the yard limits encounters the approach of the indication. The FRA position is that the train engine should take the immediate action to reduce the speed that will permit the stopping the one half of the range is not exceeding the 20 miles per hour under the rule restricted speed consistent with the good train and handling upon the review of the approach indication of the means of the advanced view will permit the proceeding signal to giving the advanced information such as the advanced approach to the approach medium the consistent with the good train handling of the train engine should be down to a restricted speed before the passing approaching of the indication before the entering the yard limits is applicable if your present um, ruler deter- deter- debtors 
um, viewing a signal at the intention of the rule and consistent with the signal turn and controls the Title 49 CFR Part 230, 236 is regarded to reviewing the signal. The rational beyond not allowing the reviewing the signal is precluded with the railroad from the establishing breaking distance based upon signal preview. In the yard limits, however, the, even though the, the signals are properly spaced and the breaking distance, the ability to operate the opposing train switch train without dispatcher authority erodes the intended safety of the system, i.e. to be able to stop and where to stop is required. In the yard limit, it is necessary for that all the trains, especially outposting the movements that are under the same restriction, able to stop one half of the range of the vision. Therefore, when a train has the pass, clearly um, signal encounters the approach and identification and permitted. It is imperative that the engineer activities um, um, preview to reduce the restricted speed as soon as practical. The remaining portion of the block known to be unoccupied with the block governed with the approach indication that provides only the marginal acceptable brake distance if the bound in the train um, passes the approach. Indication at a maximum authorized speed while the opposing movement is simultaneously past the signal governing opposing movement that is in block. The opposing movement will move in the brake distance required, but the inbound track or inbound train um, collision might result. There are a myriad, there are a myriad of signal layouts in the yard limited territory. Strong debates that can be there in the logic preview. The signal should not be applied. However, much of the rational output uh, the argument is routed with the defense existing signal system to avoid costly modification. The insert of the uniform consistent with the application of yard limited regulation premises on safety. The FRA current position is more conservative than the other um, presenting rule. Yard limits, however, require the more um, constricted strategy. The real um, the potential of the intrusion on the main track are positioned does not allow the railroad to adopt with the more stringent procedure in the yard limit. Several railroads have elected to observe the procedure. Originally signed by Edward R. English, Director of the Office of Safety Enforcement, July, July 23, 1990, Mr. K. A. L. J. Miller, J., Chairman, General Code of Operating Com Rules Committee, Southern Pacific Transportation Company, One Marketplace, Room 665, San Francisco, California, 91405. Uh, dear Mr. Miller, the, we, this is will respond to the recent letter requesting clarification on the Title 49 CFR 21835 yard limits. I appreciate your interest in the Federal Railroad Administration application of the regulation. To put a rule in its perspective, let me say that you are like that is like this. I have to concern over the growing um, ambulance and the proper yard limit of the rural employment. A modification of basic precepts. Some of the railroads have undetermined the rules are original intent. The yard limit has been the genesis decades ago when the railroad cars be recognized uh, as need to safely coordinate with the train movement on a high speed main track territory with the potential conflicts existing with the yard limits. After a distressing letter to increase with the human factor accidents in 1960 many on the main tracks with the yard areas the FRA compelled with in initiating rule making acting on the confronting the temple problem. In the in this in your letter you presented the three issues of discussion that we first regarded with the special sign signal indication consults with a rear, uh, clear for the purpose two eighteen thirty five B two that you mentioned the clear as expressed general code number thirty um, general code rule number ninety three more restrictive than intended becomes the correlated with the clear with the green signal aspect for the beginning with the FRA intended with the clear to the beginning the block signal indication with the permits of the train to proceed with the next signal when imposing any specific operational constraints of the train movement. The FRA judgment has to be, is that indication more favorable than the approach acceptable with regard to, since the indications denote the last two blocks should be clear in advance with the movement. Um, the second type of the address deals with the movement arrangement of the, against the current traffic in the yard lines where the compliance of statute 218.35b2 eliminates the need for the compliance 218.35b2. The short answer of your question is compliance with 218.35b is recorded and is required at all times within the yard of the train movement against the current of the traffic. The yard limit is required to have the authorization protection in train yard, order yard and other designated official only on, under the operating restriction prescribed in 218.35b. The authorization to proceed against the current traffic does not exclude or no, does not preclude the conflicting movement of the entering the main track or the intervening with the switch and protecting against eventually to compliance with the statute 218.35b2 that was required. The third point of the you mentioned in the statute 218.35b compliance with the requirement of the CTC territory. If the FRA judgment of the yard limit is not practical application where they interlock in the traffic control system or the rules in effect minimum application when the rule of the D2251 derivatives in effect more specifically we are responsive to the point of the control traffic control um, Rule, um, rules eliminated with the uh, potential of opposing movements of the yard limits that we have found not always in the case, for example, with the, where with the control um, 
control traffic control yard limit with the territory with switch engines to the authorized the main track one of the movement in either direction is not being noted in the control operating knowledge in addition with all remote control system yard limits of the control and not um, traffic control uh, sometimes are called remote um, remote control uh, automatic blocks uh, signal interlocking limits of the APB for example our several location where the railroad have designated miles remotely control the yard limit may track as interlocking limits to the circumvent restrictive labor agreement for requiring the dispatcher movement of the CTC territories by designating such tracks interlocking of the railroad may employ operators to control movements. As um, as alluded to above, the FRA questions but the railroad would chose to execute the yard limits in the traffic control interlocking territories when submit, or the motivation being to twofold the circumstance requiring the under the title 49 CFR Part 221 railroad ending of the making of the device to have taken the advantage of the less restrictive labor agreements according regarding switch limits and important that the collective bargaining constraints of the associated with the switching limits be kept separate distance distinct with the yard limits. Unfortunately, some of the rail cars have been not elected to distinct retain yard limits in lacking with the t traffic control um, territory such a qu equal of application um, pause I think I had somebody at the door I'm back uh, I believe we were at uh as included by the FRI question, um, why would the railroad um, would choose the ex executive yard limit of the traffic control interlocking territories? We suspect the motivation be twofold. The circumvented requirements under Title 49 CFR Part 221 rear end market devices to take advantage of the second of the to take advantage of less restrictive large agreements regarding the switch limits is important that any collective bargaining constraints associated with the switching limits be kept in separate distance from the yard limits. Unfortunately, some of the rail cars have been elected not to make the distinction retaining yards into the interlocking traffic traffic control system um, territory which such equal equ um, equal application of the result in confusing undermines the safety intention of the provision in the view of today's technological technological advancement in radio and data communication individual railroads may decide that the very concept of the yard limits of it is an anarchism um, some have described district districtly drastically reduce the main yard limit territories in all but a few locations. And looking over the historical document of the yard limit provision, you know, um, apparent language were, was born to the impetuous during the red, railroad making in the middle mid 1970s. The FRA was recipient of the great deal of the public comment for the railroad labor, the management, the appropriate for the rule fed, is zoology, operational rationa rationality. At the time, the FRA considered the arguments to some um, similar to one of the known, which is now advice from the was purely um, processing, which we believe to facilitate the structuring of the rule of suitable safeguards, yet accessible and enough to effectively move the train through the congested yard environments. The projected revision of the General Code 93 and enumerated in letters recommended with the response. Basic response re um, modification in the single dispatch approach. We do not agree with the change of proposed for the following. Reasons uh, modeled after the Federal Railroad, uh, Federal sorry modeled after the Federal Aviation Administration, the Federal Aviation Regulation, some of the elected of, uh, officials of invasion of the need of the effort to flow for the course of establishing national code of the operating of the railroad operating rules. We statusfully, steadfully, fastly um, resisted. Uh, resisted such suggestions. Instead, we believe that the industry capable of resolving continuous rules, dissimilarities internally without governmental intervention. We strongly encourage the railroads to take the initiative simply operating methods. We know not, we know now, we know you and the committee have the attempt to simplify the fa phraseology of the general code. However, we believe that the present pro proposal to change night rule 93 is step backward, introducing additional compliance with qualification signal indication, approaching unnecessary compound pound of the variable subject of the human mis miscalculation. All right. Even if approved, but um, approved of the proposed, we question whether the general new general code of the '93 would be any less restrictive than one of the current published. In fact, that adding the approach signal factor might may make the rule or more cumbersome, um, restrictive. For example, would consider almost possible variations to approach in, in indication subjects of the constraint of the new rule approaching, diverging, approaching, and appro advanced approach, approaching, restriction, diverging, and advanced approach of a diverging approach, approach medium, approaching, limited, diverging approach, limited, diverging approach, medium, and diverging approach to slow and an approaching restriction and a signal, a distant signal approach etc. In ta taking a close um, look at the general code 93 we note that the potential problem presents the word wording specifically narrates narratives include but the prescription movement within the yard limits must be limited to the restricted speed unless the main track is known to be clear with the block signal displaying green as its aspect part of its uh, of its aspect um 
However, it is so applied with the Rule 26 of the sophomore, the sophomore signal is cited by the Southern um, Pacific Timetable. The govern green over the yellow conveys an approach and indication. Rule 93 would authorize the train to proceed with the yellow limits on the approach indication as part of the was in the clear. If note they already accomplished, we suggest the necessary action to address the apparent fault in the rule. I hope information helps you to, in the committee to understand the FRA was rational administrative of the SMART 218.35 as we do. We understand the supports and importing to the use and the FRA. We appreciate we are continuing interaction with the rail safety di di dialogue. Originally signed by the J.W. Walsh Associated Administrative Safety, guidance for the 218-17 flag protection and July 30, 2010 flag protection inspection will be required in the 217-0 inspection on the inspection reports. No compliance with this section should not record the ra ra railroad merely fa failing to have views of the railroad, have, ra failing to have views of the rig flag or flagman signals. I know locomotive is the regulation does not actually establish such a requirement. However, the requirement of the equipped locomotives with these items may be established with the railroad's own operating rules should require to own the inspection be report correctly. The lack of flagging rules required with the section regulatory concerns that this should be discussed with the regional operational practice specialist prior to the taking the exemption of the railroad. Nonetheless, the actual failures the railroad employs to perform the flag protection in accordance with the requirements of the regulation while the performance of the railroad operation while performance of the focus of the required federal for the effects of violation of the operational protect this inspector regarding the regulation circumstances permitting the relief of the railroad of the railroad and flag protection one of the train following another restricted speed use the railroad communication between the trains to afford relief of the rear end flag protection with the non signal territory formerly OP 40420 the following letter of the CE Dentman of the Associated American Railroads explains the clarifies with the FRA position several issuing section one um, 21835 flag protection is intended to provide the inner pre preventive uh, guidance of the file field concerning these issues. As always, inspectors should continue with considering specific circumstances of each situation applying the guidance. July 20th, 1999, Mr. C. Detman, Ex Executive Vice President of Safety Operations Association of the American Railroads, 250 F Street, um, North wa uh, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 2001-1564. Dear Mr. Detman, it has recently um, come to the FRA's uh, attention that several railroads um, are conditioned with the operation of the violation of Title 49 Code Federal Regulation Part 2, 1837 Flag Protection, in essence, for the operating rules procedures currently in effect that would allow one train to allow another train into the same limit of the restricted speed without proceeding with the train having to provide a rear end flag protection. Although the slight variations in the operating rules procedure with the road to road, the FRA feels that there are common safety issues regarding the flag that should be clarified within the industry whole. A stated regulation of flag protection against the following train on the same track is not required if in at least one of the five conditions is specified in 21837A2 2 pertains. One, the rear of the train is protected with at least two block signals. The rear of the train is protected with an absolute block um, and uh, the rear of the train is an interlocking movement. Interlocking limits. Four, a train order um, specifies the flag protection is not required. And five, the railroad operates only one train at a given time. Also, a flag protection is not required with the outer limits except for the um, case of failure to clear the time designated for the class and train of the non sickle territory as prescribed in Part 21835 b one Further flag protection in the front of the against of the opposing movement is prescribed in Part 21837A14 would be necessary only if the railroad operating rules required it. Consequently, a railroad who operates the rules and mythologies are such as the full uh, fall who um, wholly with the parameters provided in Part 218. Um, 35B uh, um, and 1 and 21837A2. While who do not authorize having operating rules of flag protection in front of against the opposing movements, will be um, relieved the flag man requirements of the Part 2 1837 adjacent protection flag protection imposed on the railroad operating rules condition other than specifically prescribed in Part 2 1835 and there are additional requirements that are therefore outside of the scope of the regulation. In addition, with the FRA takes no exception in the situation where joint work of the time limits, joint track of the time limits, or yard limit exists, they are circumstances that uh, were also scope of the Federal Railroad ending the flagging regulations, joint work at the time, the joint tracks, time limits. Limits are relatively short. All the crews known the limits of the time uh, are jointly occupied. All the movements are made with the restricted speed and the yard limits of the limits are well-defined. Crews are aware of the very like and encountering the other trains on a consistent basis except the signal territory with the government block signal indication more favorable than the approach. All movements must be restricted speed. These conditions are not necessarily so the train as far as the train following the other tight trains occupied above the limits of the mile miles from the length, which whose crews may not even be aware of the following train share limits. Um, 
In single and signal territory, part two eighteen thirty seven A two one, provided the train may enter from the restricted speed with the block that may be occupied with the preceding train predicted predicated the, on the requirement of the last two, the block signal to add the, to the rear. The base of the rationality of this presence of the both signals with it provided with the reliable train separation ensures the following train movement will operating with the under restrictive um, conditions prepared to short, stop short of the train ahead of the seat titled 40, CA 40, 40, 42 Federal Register 5063 January 27, 1977. However, the non single territory of the current practice of allowing one train to follow another train in the same direction on the same limits is restricted speed and internal non compliance with the Title 49 CFR Part 2, 1837, and a contra contravenous uh, purpose of that regulation. All the preceding train must not reverse the direction of the following train is operating restricted speed. There are no provisions of the regulation for the relief of the rear end flag protection proceeding with the train under the circumstance. In addition, with regulatory noncompliance, the FRA has several concerns involving the practice. The preceding train may not necessarily be aware of the being followed by another train. They may create an illusion by proceeding with the crew for the exclusive occupancy limits while the non-reverse direction the FRA has investigated the accidents and caused by the unauthorized reverse movements. While the following train is required to move the restricted speed, it may not have any knowledge of the preceding train specific location due to the extended limits and the tendency may uh, exist. The extended restricted speed for the instance of the following train is relying on the radio transmission that overheard the indicating with the press heating train is several miles ahead visibility of the tangent track is good etc the fri train accident files are contained with mo many instances of accidents caused by the failure to operate the restricted speed the fri appreciates the industry's b belief of the theoretical certainty of the restricted speed operation if observed to prevent the collision with the mention above the files contain the many of the reporting dis documentation series of accidents resulting from the failure to comply with the restricted speed the concerns the fra has in the type of the operation with the based on a long history of the railroad accident incidents investigation. We do not desire the restricted ab ability of, the, of your member ro um, railroads for the operating of the most efficient manner possible. Consistent with the FRA, the railroad operating safety, the rules and instance can are concerned with the base on the regulatory requirements and need for the compliance, as well as the desire consistent with among all the railroads and similar operations. The FRA is aware of the practice that currently exists on some of the railroads, which essentially all allows them for the railroad communicate to provide the relief of the rear end for ag protection against the following trains on the same track as non-signal territory, as we understand two more trains may be authorized to proceed in the same direction within the same limits provided meaning that certain requirements are met. The FRA takes no exception for the practice provided with the railroad hats operating rules placed and permanently in effect with which, which the following um, conditions meet. One, proceeding the train must be entirely passed on the exact point of the provided in the railroad operating rules pertaining to the train movement authority and physical location clearly identifiable 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 locomotive engineering with the other person operating the train when the proceeding with the train notifies the following injury train by the radio entirely passed so that's exact and clearly identified point point when the information must be required writing with the following train for being acted upon in accordance with the applicable provision in part 2061 the following train is authorized to the point this information may only be related to train dispatch for three the following train may must be restricted to the movement authority that may not pass the run ahead with the preceding train which must be identified with the engine number four if the radio fails, the following train shall make the movement beyond the exact clearable and in the final point of the last confirmed. If previously stated with the flag protection against the following state, the rain same track is not required that the rear train is protected with the absolute block. Since the regulation does not prescribe how the absolute block is established, the FRA would not take the exemption that the absolute block is established with the manner prescribed above the provided that the railroad has an effect with the operating rules while meeting the conditions stated. The FRA respects the partnership with the Ford regulated community in the keeping with the partnership. The FRA expects there will be full compliance with the present flanging, flagging rules requiring the specific action regarding the protection of the train delineated in Part 218.37 and excluding the course of the situation that is specifically expected and permitted to be discussed in herein. Please share information with the members of your organization that if there is no need for further clarification, Feel free to contact Dennis Yakaman uh, your, uh, of my staff, 2204936260. Um, 60. Originally signed by Edward R. English, Director of Office of the Safety Assurance and Compliance. Guidance for 21839, home operation of the section affects the only the train yard and engine men um, working uh, in many lo uh, locations employing with the attempt to combine with the train yard engine men crews at the old wo yard work protection. Uh, under the Title 49 CFR Part 214, Blue Signal Protection, under Title 49 CFR Part 218, Subpart B, inspectors should review the records, observe the compliance within the 218.39 with the facts in, sp in facts in mind. 
Section 218.39 is only with the train yard engine and does not effectively supersede with the requirements of blue signal protection of the rear road worker protection. This section affects the operation of the remote control hump yard for the train engine room crews that work there. And if in uh, in the preamble, the commentary of the noted with the hump is not safety, uh, not in service, the danger is addressed by the 218.39 is not as present. The FRA agreed with the compliance with the regulation should not be necessary for the switching move the, when the hump is necessary, is not in service. The computer software can be used to block a track. If if impractical, the final rule establishing the second section of the FRA cited in with the practice of the crew member contact with the yard master home supervisor, the person relying on the notification proceed, blocking procedures of individual as a control machine is not prohibited. There is no requirement for a written record. All right, Part D, um, Part 218, Subpart B, Prohibition Against Tampering with Safety Devices, Guidance to 218.53, Scope and Definitions, Appendix C of the Part 218, to Disable the Safety Devices means not only to render with the safety device and capability the property the effective action, but also to materially impair with the function of, the, of that device. The Subpart Program obligated for the carry out of the provision of the Railroad Safety Act of 1988, notified, new co now codified in Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 20138, which reads as part as part follows, the Secretary of Transportation prescribed the Regulation issue the order to prohibit the willful tampering with or with or disabling um, disabling specified in the railroad safety operational monitoring device. The guidance with four two eighteen fifty five fifty seven and fifty nine for the appropriate citation with the writing violation on the defect of the railroad against the railroad two um, statute two eight fifty nine fifty five and fifty seven which apply with the individual railroad of the person under the law of the railroad is not avail involved for the purpose of the regulation section two eighteen fifty five and fifty seven provisions to be cited with the individual liability matters each of these sections requires the proof of differential level of cul cul culpability. Um, Section 218.55 pro um, prohibits the individual and disabling the safety device willfully. See the Appendix A for Title 49 CFR Part 2094. The discussion of the term willfully. Section 218.57 prohibits the individual and knowingly operating in the train, knowingly permitting the operating in the train. When the train is equipped with a device, safety device to prohibit uh, prove a violation of the statute 2859, which applies to the, only to the railroad, is necessary to show the railroad had an acknowledgement of the it had knowledge that operating the train was controlling the locomotive was equipped with a safety device that was tampered with or disabled with a level of culpability and was ca called strict liability typical um, of most FRA safety regulations such as safety appliance standards. Guidance of inspection safety devices for tampering. The inspector should take a defects violation if only he or she can clearly document the equipment was operated with the safety device disabled. The safety device found and disabled should be immediately reported. Safety device found to be tampered with on equipment did not belong being operated should not be should not be recorded recorded under the activity code 218T, but should be recorded under the comments of the railroad. The railroad's manager should be notified immediately. The inspector should ensure that the railroad is in place with the responsibility of the safety device tampered with it or leaving the area. Reinspection on a later date shall be conducted with the, uh, when warranted. It is unlawful for any individual to willfully tamper with, with or disable a safety device. Any individual knowingly operating permitting them to be operated with a train safety device that has been tampered with or disabled if the locomotive is equipped with a dead Main fa dead man feature and must function with the title uh, intended in function intended in Title 49, 229, 7 for both the locomotives and certain required to be so equipped. Railroad to use and permit and to be used in uh, line with the locomotive use of the entire locomotive in prudent season and proper to condition and save the operation services that it, which uh, they are part when the, when without unnecessary peril of life and limb have been inspected and tested in the title required in Title 49 CFR Part, part 229 Unit 49 U.S.A. Code 207. Uh, one not notification, sir. If devices can result in the FRA enforcement actions to take against the railroad and individual railroad employees. Safety devices. The FRA employs functional description to describe the constituted with the safety device. This should cover the device appearing with the fault. Future um, items that are not considered to be safety devices, radios and napkins forced in the speakers of the radios, re monitors the end of the train device, bells and whistles that are not connected um, to alert dead man, dead pedals, and signal system devices. For um, fans controlling the interior temperature of the locomotive cabs, locomotive performance monitoring, unless the record data of such strain and speed and air brake operations, onboard cameras, including and other recording devices mounted on, in and on the locomotive. Guidance: A May eight two May eighteenth two thousand ten letter of the FRA Assistant Chief Look out. Safety explains the FRA policy locomotive mounted mounted inward facing the video camera reorders. 
Recorders in summary, the letter states that devices are not subject to the prohibition against tampering relations in Part D of the Title 49 CFR Part 218, but they are subject to preservation of accident data requirements of Title 49 CFR 229-135E. Note, if the railroad does not provide an access the recording with the inward outward facing the video of the camera with the investigation, the FRA reports accidents considered using Section 229-135E as a compliance tool coordinated with your actions with the regional manager. Managers, items that are considered to be safety devices, event recorders, alter all, all, alerters, dead man controls, automatic cab signals, automatic train control c equipment. The effort is not considered the act of putting napkins in the railroad. Speak of the damp and the sound of the tampering with the device. Um, to be tampering with a safety device. Silicone has been injected to the alert, uh, alter's speaker to soften the sound. The silicone was painted with black, black operated with safe device tamper with. If you look at the holes of the speaker, you can see that the many of these holes have been filled with silicone and they are painted black. The FRA does consider placing material in the speaker with, of the locomotives altering the damp sound of the tampering of the safe device. Note that the bandage is securing a paper napkin in an alternate alter alert light. The bandage of the napkin is covering the light of the alter al alerter, but therefore impairing the function of the safety device. Guidance for 21857 Responsibility of individu Individuals. An individual who knowingly operate, operates a train and knowingly permits his to be operated with the controlling locomotive of the train equipped with the disabled safe device is subject civil penalty provided with the in, in Appendix A with the part of the disqualification qualification of the performing safety sensitive functions on the railroad if found to be fit and of unfit such duty. Subsequent operator of the locomotive with a disabled safety device could be held to the same negligence standard or conduct responsibly members of the crew could be knowingly culpable if due to the failure to exercise the responsible care, they failed to determine the safety device was not functioning or has an certain but the device was not functioning that they still elected to operate the train. This allows also allows also applies to the railroad supervisor who permits the given the direction of the train with a disabled device to be operated all after having learned that the safety device was not functioning after that having failed to unreasonable use a reasonable care of the performance duty C as spending A C for the Part D two eighteen statement of the agency and enforcement concerning the violation of this section. All right, guns for the 21859 responsibility of the railroad. Any railroad operates the train with the controlling locomotive of the train equipped with a disabled safety device is subject to the civil penalty provided by the Appendix A to this part. Guns 21861 authority to deactivate the safety device under circumstances under specific circumstances stated in the section. Employees are permitted to temporarily render the safety device incapable of proper to the effective action and materially impair its function. This page is intentionally left blank. Insert chapter tab here, and we're on to chapter 6.